This inconspicuous bridge is one of the most innovative bridges in Europe. While it looks like a conventional bridge at a first glance from the outside, it consists of a very special material. It is made out of flax. In the past, flax was known as a popular crop plant. Because of its stiffness and strength, the fibers were used to make ship ropes or sacks. Now, flax could become the building material of the future, a relevant innovation to circular economy. For the Smart Circular Bridge project, the flax fibers are woven into multi-layered mats, which are then wrapped around foam blocks. After that, the wrapped blocks are arranged closely together on a mat base and then covered with more layers of flax mats. Finally, the mats are soaked with a bio-resin and thus bonded and hardened. Yeah, in that project we implement bio-based composite materials which are very light, but they have a similar strength compared to aluminium or traditional steel, and that's why we think it's a very interesting uh, possibility in the built environment. Professor Dr. Patrick Tufel and Professor Rake Block are responsible for the smart circular bridges. The project, funded by the EU, involves the construction of three bio-based bridges in Europe. During the production, nearly a hundred fiber optic sensors are installed inside these bridges. They continuously provide data under different weather conditions or loads, which are evaluated with the help of artificial intelligence. With our structural health monitoring system, we are able to follow the material behavior inside the bridge very precisely. And with that, of course, we can come to much more economic designs. And this means um, that with these biocomposite materials, we can move away from the use of fossil materials. And of course, that is a very good contribution to come to more sustainable structures. The Smart Circular Bridges project helps to develop the enormous potential of flax for a bio-based circular economy and contribute to the EU's climate goals. Yeah, we are convinced that the design and realization of these three bridges is only the start of a big journey towards a more circular built environment.